Hey everybody, JW here. Check this one out. 2019 Peterbilt 389. Heavy haul. I'll put the comments in on all the wheelbases and the axle spreads. So I just want to be accurate in what I tell you and I wasn't able to pull the cut sheet. And so I'll just go over some of the basics on this truck. You can see here. It's a deep red color. It's a little bit overcast today. With all the fires we've been having. You can see the black fenders. But there is some flake in there. It's kind of hard to see. Did go ahead and put the fog lights in the bumper on this one. So on this one we're running an X15 Cummins engine performance series. This one is a 565 horse at 2050 torque. You can put a 20,000 pound front with a uh, Bridgestone M854. 425 width tire, heavy haul spec, and then you can see here we did the remote loop system, of course. Heated fuel filter. Also, you can see here additional wiring. That one was for the flood lamps, fog lights, if you will. So we got extra wiring here for the chicken lights, so if you wanted to change these out and, and run your kits down the side of the sleeper, or we can install them for you. Okay. This one is running a 58-inch sleeper. Hundred gallon gallon capacity on this side. And so I wanted to show you a perspective. This one is a 20,000 pound Chalmers liftable, steerable drop axle. And so you can see the bags in here. We do run drum brakes on these. On the front of the truck, I didn't show you, we do run disc brakes, standard. And this one is no exception. And sometimes in refuse or other markets will run the other ones. I did want to show you real quick when you do choose a 425 tire it kind of gives you a perspective of what the offset looks like. So I got some customers who are quoting these trucks too with the liftable steerables. I'll have to give you the dimensions on the fifth wheel slider. It looks to be like it might be a 72 inch heavy duty hauling fifth wheel slider. So on this truck might be hard to get in there but we are running again in the rear the last two drive axles we are running the disc brakes and so on the back we're running Bridgestone M79 799 R22.5 tires 11 R22.5 tires okay I believe this is a Holland F35 fifth wheel but just double check the comments to make sure I'm accurate on there but that's what we've been running on most of our trucks. It's been a great fifth wheel. So, Peterbilt air track suspension. Good, heavy built, stout suspension. You can see the back, of course. Running our fog lights and everything. So the tank on this side here is an actual 150 gallon tank. So we're running 250 usable gallons of fuel here. Which means on this truck here, we didn't run the split tanks and you'd have to add your hydraulic tank there somewhere in the frame rail on the side or what have you. You can see here, I'm gonna show you behind. We're running a single pass diff system. There's been a lot of space savings, a lot more reliability with this new system that we're running. So I'll go ahead and show you the inside of the truck. This one is run the platinum interior with navigation. I'll use that here in a second. Love this truck. It's the first heavy haul truck that I've been able to put on my YouTube channel. Let's 
see the rosewood insets. Platinum gray. This one is running uh, the Sears seating system, so they must have done an upgrade on there. And then you can see here your uh, suspension. Very beautifully done. The seat is very comfortable too. Chrome bezel gauges all around. You can see the nav screens booting up. So this nav screen here, just so you all know, takes the spot of six gauges. So you can see three up, three to the side. The good part is, is when you get this, we can load them up with virtual gauges and our very, very cost effective way versus analog gauges. transmission show you the gauges here see. We'll swipe this one only has one one screen for the gauges well let's say you wanted to highlight this one here it'll bring it up Does also have the premium sound system with the CB mounted up in the header, and then they also put the CB speaker right there so the driver can hear. Passenger seat is also a premium seat as well. First, we've got our 58 inch flat top sleeper. This one does have rear HVAC controls. Extra reading lights. Got a little closet there, and a little closet here. With a spot for a television or a microwave, whatever you choose. And I believe it's got a subwoofer underneath, but I'm not sure. I'll have to put that in the comments. But with the premium sound, that's typically what comes along with it. Well, there you have it, guys. Again, this is JW. This is our 389 Heavy Haul 2019 liftable steerable axle if you have any questions feel free to shoot me a direct call or text message at 970-518-5520 if you like these videos go ahead and click on the orange truck in the bottom right corner and subscribe I'd love to have you if you have any questions problems or concerns feel free to shoot me a message and we look forward to hearing from you soon have a great day